everybody, Magasax here, the Volatile Gamer, and today we're going to talk about some things you could do to potentially speed up the gameplay of your Minecraft. And by speed up, I mean just making it run better. So if you don't have a great, great computer, or you're just having some lag issues, this could improve that those issues. So let's get started. First things first on the list, we have Ready Boost. Now, Ready Boost is going to require a USB of some sort of at least... I'd say probably at least 8 gigabytes. I, I think 4 gigabytes might be the minimum. So I what I have here is uh, a USB stick. I'm not sure if you can see that pretty good. But that is from Verbatim. And this one here is 16 gigabytes. However, I have done this with the 8 gigabyte stick as well. And I could guarantee that Verbatim, and let's see if you can actually see the wording there, Verbatim definitely, definitely works. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and plug this in and get it loaded might have to install some driver software maybe not maybe so did I get that in there right yeah okay it's coming so let's go to my computer okay no it's not there it is there here it is so the autoplay should also come up here in a moment and sometimes when the autoplay comes up it would actually give you the option to speed up my system let's see if I could force the autoplay to come no you can't do that on this Oh well, whatever. Now here's what you're going to do. Go to Computer, right click Properties, and go to the Ready Boost tab. Now here it is actually working. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be like this. Let's see if I could recreate. There is a problem with this sometimes, so I'm going to see if I could actually get that to work here. I might not be able to. Now, what the problem is, sometimes you're going to pop in your USB stick, and uh, instead of seeing the page you just, just saw on my screen, it's going to just say, test again. Oh, whoops. It's going to say, test again, and you could click that, and it takes a little bit of time, and it doesn't actually get to this screen. So, if that happens for you, what you can do is continue over and over again to keep pressing test again until it, this screen does appear here. So, if... I'd say try at least 10 times. There was one time I had to do it at least 10 times. Uh, I'm not sure why this happens, but uh, keep trying until it works. And after 10 times or so, if it doesn't work, then you will probably have to try another USB uh, brand or type or something. Now, I got that USB stick. It was $15 at my local Staples, and I'm in Canada, so maybe your equivalent would be Future Shop or Game Shop. Anywhere you can get stuff. But what I do recommend is make sure that if you get a USB stick and you're buying it, Make sure they have a nice return policy that you're able to open up the package and return it if it doesn't work for you. That way you don't waste any money. So I know at Staples, if you're living in Canada, their return policy is awesome. You get uh, a good 30 days or so to get it. So, Alright, so here's what you do. We're just going to click on Dedicate This Device to use ReadyBoost. And I believe the max you could do is 494 oh, megabytes or 4 gigabytes, the equivalent of. So if you could do more and you want to do more, go right for it. I'd recommend at least this amount. So we're just going to press Apply. It's going to take a few seconds. And that should be good. So that potentially is basically like adding RAM, I guess you could say, uh, but virtual RAM. And on that topic, here's the part two, or the next step you can do to increase is uh, virtual RAM. Okay, so to do this, and by the way, some of these things, um, it's not just for Minecraft. This could speed up your computer and for anything, for any usage. So it is nice to have. No? Okay, right on. All right, so here's what we do. Go to your computer. And if you're running Windows 7, it's almost the same thing. You're going to right-click where here where it says Computer. Go into Properties. Now, this is where it's slightly different for Windows 7, uh, XP, if you're using that. But it's, you're going to be going to wherever it says Advanced System Settings. So we're going to pop that open. And this should be the same regardless of your operating system. So go ahead here and look for the Advanced. And we're going to go right to Performance and Settings go over to advanced again and virtual memory we're gonna press change now for you sorry about that I had a phone call I swear some days in here it's so hard to do a video but we're gonna go and continue ahead anyways so let's do this so we're gonna go what you're gonna see is automatic manage paging file if that is clicked take that off 
you're going to go down here to custom size now do make sure that in these settings here you see I have the different drives make sure that's set to your main C drive or whatever that is but by the way uh, as you see here what is it it's a uh, Q or what you could actually set an external hard drive to do this too so it doesn't just have to be uh, your main hard drive or whatever so I'm going to click C I'm going to go down to custom size and if you just look down here at the bottom it says recommended here it recommends it usually recommends what if you have let's say four gigabytes of RAM it's going to recommend six it recommends hundred and fifty percent of whatever amount of RAM that you have so here it recommends nine one three six so for the initial size I'm going to put in nine one three six and for maximum size I like I don't really care I'm just gonna put in 10,000 you could put a little bit more so it has a little bit of room to kind of bounce around um, then you press set and that there you see that there was a change press OK the changes you have made you need to restart your computer so I'm gonna just press OK we're gonna get out of here and uh, where we'll start later for the sake of the video so that's that let's get out of here now and next thing on the list, what do we have next? Got quite a few things here we can do. So here's MS Config. So now to get to here, uh, this is for, same for any operating system. You're going to press Windows key and R. There we are. Type in exactly that. So M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. Enter. And this brings you to this screen here. So quite a little, quite a few different settings you have here. Let's, first, we're going to go to services. Now, if you are not sure what is on this or what it's what it is, don't de-click it. Like only de-click things here that you're absolutely certain you know what they are. So the whole point of this is we're going to stop some services from running when the computer turns on because we don't always always need to have all this running. So let's just go through here. Adobe Acrobat, we don't need that. If I want to update Adobe, I'll do that on my own. Same thing here. Flash Player Update Service um, might want to keep the actual Adobe on, but uh, anyways, just go through here, see what. What you could find. I uh, don't need BitLocker. That's just something uh, for Windows. It's not. I don't think you're going to need that, unless of course you are using it. Then then keep it on. You know stuff that you don't need. So now let's give you an example. Uh, Microsoft.net. Keep that stuff on. Like I don't know what this client virtualization handler is, so I'm going to keep it there. I don't want to mess anything up. DHC, C, uh, DHCP. Keep that stuff on. That's for your internet DNS. Same thing. Um, so, like I said, just keep going on through um, only de-click services uh, that you're absolutely certain you could live without, okay? So, if you, let's say, you have Windows Messenger, Windows Live, you can shut that off. Um, what else do you have here? Anyway, so I'm good with that. I could go through here another time and do some of the stuff. Once again, it will get you to restart, so exit without restart right now. And that's that. So, hopefully that helps a little bit, too and background so here's just some other stuff that you might want to look into we're gonna right click on the desktop we're gonna go into I think it's personalize and shutting off some stuff like if you just use Windows 7 basic or Windows classic even I mean this is if you really have a slower computer some people you won't even have to do this so you could just set the uh, the whole background to classic and it just runs less stuff I believe there's also another thing you can do I, it's in here and it's the arrow use arrow peak to preview desktop now this might on slower computers might actually make a performance difference so that again you could de-click that if you if you are having some performance issues that might help a little bit um, I don't need to in my case but it's just to show you all the different options you have now if you are running on a laptop you should always have this battery symbol at the top however if you don't um, I know for Windows Vista or 7 all you have to do is type in power yes here we are and we're going into power options alternatively you could just click on this to get oh, you could click on your battery symbol on your laptop and power options so here we want to go into high performance and we can still do some tweaks by default this is pretty good high performance is good you're going to want to make sure you're plugged in more often uh, here we clicked on change plan settings and go into change advanced power settings and let's see if there's anything we can do just to kind of give this a little kick in the butt so um, stuff like that is not really necessary uh, USB settings Intel graphics let's see what we have here maximum performance that's good that's good so by default most of the settings you'd want to switch are already switched just by clicking high uh, high performance in the setup um, 
I guess what I could do real quick, I'm just going to open them all up. For whatever reason, if high performance was taking off as one of your uh, profiles, this is what you're going to want to have set. So you could recreate that profile um, if that is the case. So let's just go through. Now this one makes a little bit of a difference. It's it's enough to help. I think all these things in conjunction in the end will really help nicely. So let's see. Yeah, maximum performance here, whatever that's doing, but it's good. All right, so let's get out of here. I don't believe you have to restart for that one, so that's good. What else do we have here? Let's go down our list. Virtual RAM, we already showed you that one. I'm going to save that for a bit later. Oh, here's another one. If you're running a server for Tekic or Minecraft and you have a second computer, use the second computer to run your server while you are uh, running the game on, on another computer. And that way there you could set maximum RAM. So for example, let me just go into um, a Tekic server. You can go over to your launch.bat and open that up. This way, um, if you have a second computer, let's say that second computer has uh, two gigabytes, you could set it as close as to that as possible. M. See what I'm doing here. So that way, you could use all the RAM on another computer to run your server, and that way, you could use all the other RAM on the actual computer that you are using for, let's say, for example, uh, for the Tekic launcher for the actual game. So that's going to free up a little bit of space, and it's just going to help in the end. Now, I actually do do that whenever I'm playing, so it helps. And that way, I could go here to options, and instead of, let's say, I have six gigabytes of RAM on this computer, instead of having just to use four. Well, unfortunately, there's no jump in between. I don't know why they don't put a custom one here. I think that would be really helpful if you were able to input your own number. But uh, let's say I only had 4, gigabyte, four gigabytes of RAM. That would mean I'd probably be have this set to 2 and have my RAM set to like 1.5. But this way here, I could set it to 4, use all the RAM, and throw my, uh, my server somewhere else. So that's good. We're just going to keep that the same for now. All right, so that's that. And that's another little trick, too, is playing around with those numbers and making sure they're actually as much as you can have for better performance. Now, I'm actually, I shouldn't have never closed that, but I'm actually going to go and show you some stuff in game. And that's like, don't hate on me for that, but in game settings do help a lot as well. But you probably already know that server elsewhere. And I believe that's the whole list. So if you have any other things that would help, go ahead, add them in the comment section, and I could even remake the video to help out. And, you know, we just want to help people have a better experience with the Tekic. So uh, let's go into the game. Let's load that up. What? Yeah, okay, let me switch that. Um... Um, there is one other thing. If you're using this fax texture pack, um, and on some of my computers, using the uh, the 128 bit, it's just way too much. Like I'm going in there, and it's like chop, chop, chop. So you're f I, I was forced to use the 64 uh, bit, and a dramatic, dramatic difference in just the switch. So we're gonna go here real quick. Now, of course, this was covered in quite a few other videos. That's why I saved it for one of the last things. Let's see how this is doing. It's still loading. Okay, there we are. So what you can do in the in-game options. Now with Tekic, it comes with a lot of other options to really give a, a good help with performance. So of course, graphics, you can set that to fast. Smooth lighting is off. That's the better option. Render distance, you could put it as small as possible. Short is good. You know, just play around with that until you're happy. Max performance for the performance, uh, max FPS, sorry. Uh, view bobbing, you shut off. OpenGL, I believe that if you set it to fancy, for whatever reason here, it says that's the faster one. So the option is available only if supported by the graphic card. So that is important. Uh, it might, it won't make any difference if your graphic card doesn't support it. So look up your graphic card. You actually can see if it has OpenGL support right on the description of uh, its specs, I guess. Clouds off, fog off, you won't have to change that if it's off. Now let's go into details. Uh, clouds, uh, you could actually shut them right off. All this stuff you could just shut right off. So off, 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 off. I like to keep the sun and the moon there, no matter what, because you want to know what time of day it is, I guess. That's always nice to know. Stars off. Um, show capes. Uh, does anybody know what that does? Uh, I'm not even sure. Player capes. But 
So that's in there. Uh, let's go to quality, uh, mip map. Now, if you're running the game at the same time, these changing these could take a long, long time. So it says it shouldn't even change performance. Uh, however, I think it still does. So having that off and having that set to nearest is probably your better option. Um, clear water, that would probably slow it down a little bit, but I like having that on because you want to be able to see underneath water nicely. Random mobs, you can shut that off if you're having a hard time. That will definitely make a difference. Custom fonts as well, better grass, swamp colors, I, it can't be that big, but I mean all these things help, right? So uh, that's that's good if you want, if you really have those little tiny uh, performance issues. So we could even go into performance. I haven't played around with smooth FPS too too much, but uh, maybe it helps. Try it out for yourself. See if it works. Um, that's that. And of course, we could get the 64 bits of uh, of uh, Tekic installed as well, and that definitely definitely helps. So that's been everything that you could do to increase the performance of your computer. Um, so that's it for today. If you like, I said, if you have any other tips you'd like to share with the community, p feel free to comment. We'll add it to the video. And uh, this has been Magus X. Please rate, comment, subscribe if this has been helpful. And um, maybe my son wants to say bye. Say bye to YouTube. See you, YouTube. Peace out.